We often get asked about what are the challenges in adopting AI and starting to use AI in corporations. You know, as we talk to Fortune 100 companies, one of the biggest things is just the tremendous amount of pressure they're under from their boards, from their shareholders, to be utilizing AI, to be experimenting, but most importantly, be generating revenue, generating impact, generating ROI from AI. And then from there, it's really, okay, we've got a few use cases we want to do, but is our data and our enterprise in the organization situation to be ready to do that. As I talk to CXOs, that's their biggest concern. And they're asking for that help from partners like KPMG to really lean in on the operational change and the transformational change. We see it the same way, yeah. uh, Gina. Um, specifically around data, you're starting to see in our surveys uh, that clients are, are now seeing that as they move from experimentation to scale, that data is becoming one of the big challenges. Having enterprise grade, enterprise ready, clean, good data so that they can actually start scaling AI as they move from a lot of exploration and use cases right. to actually now I need to scale it. One interesting thing we're seeing in the space is that transition from use cases to actually production. I was really impressed to see that over 52% of the companies who are using AI that we are working with have over 10 use cases that they're actually working through and getting into production. That's a really great point. We have to think differently about how work gets done in the enterprise. We've got to think differently about the workforce itself and how we measure you know, productivity, knowledge, knowledge and insights around different measures to really get at the ROI that's being achieved. Google just completed a research study called the ROI of AI. And one of the things I thought was most interesting, we saw that 88% of the use cases that the, the enterprise level um, partners that we're working with generated ROI. And companies who are doing it right right now and building the business cases and use cases that show the ROI are thinking about the end to end costs. And that's not just the upfront AI creation Creation. It's looking at the efficiencies of your entire stack from the AI agents up top to your data infrastructure, to your processing level, to where you've got that data stored. So at KPMG, we're looking at a lot of the AI stack that Google provides as a way to unify AI across our workforce. You need to start thinking about some of your value chains, kind of starting with the business outcome first and working backwards, using AI to deliver those outcomes. More importantly though, I think as we look to the future, the power of where I see us working with Google is being able to put this technology in the hands of everyone and letting them define the future of their own job and how they do it. You really need to unlock it for your workforce and let them drive the uh, innovation agenda. The workforce of the future are really going to be the people who are innovative, who are creative, who are willing to think about not necessarily the workflow, but the end output that they're trying to get to and get there in the most creative way and use AI to do that. It's less around going to a standalone prompt technology and more about a technology that knows your enterprise, knows your employees, your workforce, knows your data, and does so in a, in a very safe and secure way. As I like to tell people, KPMG knows how businesses work yeah. and, and being able to bring that knowledge to the technology that Google provides and the innovation is just fantastic. So let's keep challenging each other. Absolutely.